says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. It's funny, he thinks we're gonna take him with us and he came running. So, he's gonna be so mad in about three seconds. Sorry, buddy. So we're just gonna cruise around a, a little bit. Actually, the radio, it works. It has to warm up. It takes it about probably a minute. You see the gauges. All those are working, temp gauge, fuel gauge. The heater works. It is chilly today and it, that heater does feel good. It's quiet, but you can hear it. The, uh, so we'll just cruise around a little bit. And I think, oh yeah, the dome light, it does work up there too. What do you think? I, this car drives so nice. Yeah. I drive it anywhere for sure. And today is my one year anniversary of quitting my other job. We've had this business for a long time, but I had another job for about 10 years or so. And I'd much rather be driving this 59 Brookwood yeah. than doing that job. So I think so. I'm all smiles. Yeah. Yeah, you look good driving it too. I and there is just something about these cars, the big old steering wheel. It just makes you feel good. Yeah. I love it. I'll, it makes I I forget sometimes that newer cars have smaller steering wheels, but this just makes you feel like you're in control. Yeah. Well uh put on the brakes here in a minute maybe not on a curve maybe not on the curve on the big hill but in a minute yeah just coming to the bottom here we'll do the old uh christmas vacation where they, they have that four by four truck in front of them and they slam the brakes yeah yeah we'll see if we can make anyone mad one second there we go it stops nice and straight yeah. not a bunch of wheel shake this is it. This is it. Honestly, such a nice driver. Such yeah. a nice driver. I, I'm speechless. Yeah. You can't. You know, there's just something interesting about like a restored car. Mm -hmm. They just don't feel the same. I mean, this no. feels like a, a good old pair of old shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, and and they just fit just right. And this would be totally fun fly in, drive at home road yeah. trip for sure. Totally. So, anyways, we'll uh, cruise around a little bit more and show you some more stuff. So funny someone's waiting for us <laughs> we left and now he's sitting here waiting he's I'm pissed sorry, off buddy. though We're home. We're home. he's not happy he goes i got a job to do we, we won't do it again little buddy <laughs> well we will but hey stan work time huh ready to work <laughs> come here little guy come on Thanks for riding around with us in the uh, 59. Cool car. Hey, it's Stanley with Denworks. This is his only job of the day is to walk around here and show her cars off. I'm Jason. This is Mrs. D. Hello. Mrs. Denworks. I'm smiling because Stanley was really cute. I know. Look at him. He's like, I want to go for a ride. <clears throat> Yeah, he loves to go on a ride. Yeah. Especially in a wagon. And he loves walking up in the videos like that. Yeah. Like, I think he actually knows what he's doing. Yeah, but it's just a total job. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, too, when we leave sometimes, like, just in general driving, looking to go to the store, he'll get in front of the car and start walking. Yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> get out of the way. We finally figured it out. But anyways, check out this wagon. We're excited about it. Three owner, selling it for a gentleman in Portland friend of ours and he is the uh, third owner the original owner bought it at Noss Chevrolet in uh, Tigard Oregon and he went 
to all these places, Canada, Niagara Falls, Pennsylvania. These are all original stickers. Very, very cool. So if you need, I mean, it's just a time capsule, but if you need help selling anything, it's Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. This is our 286th, I think, auction on Bring a Trailer. You can check us out on our website. You can check us out on Instagram. Actually, if you check out Instagram, that's the first place you'll ever see something that we get. Yeah. And then we sure. also have a podcast mm -hmm. with me, me and Mrs. D and we talk about stuff. Stuff. Marriage, life, cars, all that good stuff. So. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good time. And so we're going to do a little walk around here real quick. Mostly original paint, but obviously it's had some paint. It's got a little bit of rust, but it is a fantastic driver. It drives like a dream. Starts right up. Yeah. Start, it can sit for a couple days, go out, pump it a couple times. And it's, I mean, this thing is comfortable. I'd drive it anywhere. I really would. Yeah, it is it is a fly-in drive at home. And, and I didn't do a cold start for you guys, but... I mean, literally, you hit it two or three times the pedal, yeah. crank it over, and she fires up. So we'll do a little walk around. I'm going to show you the lights and and everything. Auction ends on Monday. Um, but you can see the marker lights. I love 59s. My grandpa actually had a 59 El Camino for their business. They owned a motel, and it was yellow, and it said Desert Hills Motel on the door. And then my mom used to drive it to high school. But anyways, you can see the marker lights are working. Headlights, high beams, and we got blinkers. <clears throat> we got the left. Well, we should have the right. Push it down. The headlights, or no, the blinkers. They're not. They're not going on the left. There's the right, the left. Then over there on the right, wiggle it. Well, that dirty dog. We're gonna have to look at that because that was working. So we don't pre-rehearse this stuff. Just uh, it's not working. So, anyways, you can see the paint here has been blended in here. You'll see some surface rust and different things. Original bumper. It's got um, crazing and and stuff, but overall in good shape. Again, you're gonna see tons of scratches, tons of chips. Um, I won't spend a lot of time, but I'm just trying to give you a good overview. You see a little chip right there in the windshield. Um, if you look down the side, actually it's very straight. The paint color is Gothic Poly. Um, I love the paint name, actually. Original wheels, hubcaps. It does have trim rings on it. It shouldn't have trim rings. The date code is uh, 2005. P215, 75, 14s, and they match all the way around. But you can see scuffs and, and different things in general. I love these Pan Am stickers on the fenders. <clears throat> you can see a little surface rust here. Here. Roof is actually really straight when you look down the side, the top of it and stuff. Definitely rust right there in the door. Just little pinholes there. Rockers look pretty good, rusted out there on the on the door too. Wheel lips look good back here. You know, and actually underneath, that's funny, if you look at the pictures in the auction, underneath is really, really nice. Um, definitely very solid. The frame looks good and everything. It's got dual exhaust. Take a look at the trim. Definitely surface rust. You know, I think the, the best thing with this car is just to <coughs> continue with its legacy, keep it a survivor, make improvements as you go. Um, let's go ahead and show the lights back here. We got tail lights, brakes, oh, blinkers, yet yeah, left. Yep, that right one's not working again. We actually put a new switch in it. Um, we got brake lights and we put a new switch in it, the little blinker switch, and it was working, so something went wrong there. So we may be able to fix that, may, may not, but we'll look at it again. You can see the tail light is broken there. You can see rust right down there. 
again the bumper dent right there which is kind of cool when you flip down the tailgate the license plate moves like this so very cool i'll show you that in a minute we'll look at the roof gutter here looks good this piece of trim here is definitely rusty <clears throat> definitely a lot of little surface rust issues here this quarter panel was um, repainted i'm not exactly sure what happened but it was repainted and you can see the color difference but not rusty around the lip or anything like that i love the wings obviously they just don't make cars like this no more this door is out just a little bit rusty there little rust holes here rusty here at the bottom of the door and on the side but overall fairly solid besides some of these issues obviously so you can see this gutter actually looks pretty good so go ahead and um rev it up we're going to show you the interior we're not going to do a bunch of cuts rev it up a little bit sounds good <coughs> So we're going to take a look at the interior. I rolled down that window so I could hear you because that thing's solid inside. So oh. I, I couldn't hear you when you were talking. Oh, okay. Outside. That's funny. So we'll take, take a look at the interior. Very, very, very original. You can see the seat's been whip stitched, but that's the original material. So pretty cool. Original across the dash. Nothing's been tampered with. Door panels are original. Obviously, they've seen better days. VIN number. No accidents in here either. Very solid. Look at the end of the door. Just taking a look at everything here. Headliner's actually in pretty good shape. There's a couple of holes back there, but another one right there. But overall, in pretty good shape for original. You can see here there's a, a cable that went all the way around for like curtains. So he was probably camping in it when he when he uh, went down to uh, back east and everything in it. Take a look here at the back seat. Back seat's in really good shape. Taking a look inside here door panels bad again I was gonna show you too the the carpet <clears throat> or the rubber floor you can see it's bad so <clears throat> take it around here to the back and we'll roll this does roll down And you got to have it all the way down so then that way you can grab the handle flip it forward and it's kind of cool see i didn't get that latched up but see how the license plate flips down very cool if you look in here you'll see some little rust right there underneath the tail light this channel in here isn't horrible actually you can see the drains clear down there but a little bit of rust around there but overall in pretty good shape i do have a spare tire by the way there was a little bit of surface rust and you can see a little bit of paint on there but all this is actually in really good shape naturally take you to the other side <coughs> sorry for the coughing i just haven't <clears throat> Have a cold. I think everyone in the United States has one right now. You can see here, door jams. Everything looks good. Again, this door jam looks good. Bottom of the door panel. You 
see a couple screws in it just to hold the door panel but overall hopefully that gives you a good look one thing that um if it sits out in the rain the floors in front are going to be wet and this side is going to puddle so definitely uh try to keep it indoors if you can but it, it definitely there's a leak up there in the front most of the rest of it stays dry <coughs> We're gonna take a look underneath the hood. Oh, will you lift this? Right there, I'll pull that. There we go. So underneath the hood, we've got a 283. I don't know if it's the original. The engine has been rebuilt. Got a lot of receipts on the car in general. It's got KYB shocks around it um, all the way around and it does drive fantastic and <coughs> runs really really good so um, go ahead and rev it up just a little bit there's a picture of the cow tag here too I don't know if I put that in auction might have to take a picture of that for you but go ahead and rev it up Actually sounds nice, purrs nice. I've got a couple pictures of, I put new valve cover gaskets on it, but I've got a, a pictures of the, the rockers and they're very, very, very clean. So hopefully that gives you just a little bit of an overview of the car in general. Um, it's just a cool little wagon. So um, hopefully someone's gonna enjoy it. It is no reserve.